This week, Ian and I touch up our medieval dungeon. We unearth more garden boundaries and prepare for an upcoming project with Benoit. We're super excited because we have our first event of the year coming up this week and it's going to be taking place in the dungeon. So we've been working pretty hard on cleaning everything up, cleaning all the floors. We are leaving the cobwebs because they asked us to. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Strange request. Strange request, but not really. I mean, dungeons, you're looking to have a certain type of ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> but we're really excited. And one of the things that we really wanted to do were the iron bars on this window. I love this design too. It's so beautiful. Um, Are we just painting visually from this side then? Because like so, we can't even get to the other side. So we're going to really. paint the other side first, just like this, by reaching through. You've got paint. How already. do I have paint? We haven't even opened the paint bucket yet. How did you do it's that? It's the towel. You didn't clean the towel. You need a hat. So. Get me a hat! <laughs> <laughs> We've got our Sith Lord masks. Is that mine? I found some anti-rust paint in the atelier, uh -huh. so we can use that. But you have to wear your Vader mask. Okay. Because the next step is to try to sand off some of the, like, these pieces <laughs> Get to work. You know, I can probably find something and prop that window open. Hmm. Whatever. I haven't had time to do yoga in a while, so. So, we want to do the back side first. Of course, I've already got an itch on my face. I don't think we could have asked for better weather. You can finally hear birds chirping, and it's sunny. It's really funny to hear you say that while you sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> I love springtime. <laughs> The birds sound beautiful. <laughs> Could you just imagine Darth Vader starting a YouTube channel where he's like renovating the Death Star? He's like, I'm not sure if I'd rather have blue bathrooms or stick with the plain white. <laughs> Darth Sidious is like, I prefer to get more natural light in this part of the Death Star. <laughs> then they argue. And then they argue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty nice. We're yeah. going to have to uh, come back and sand these drips. Yeah, we dripped a little bit. Uh, it's still dripping right there. Yep, so we'll come back tomorrow and uh, just touch it up. But that's pretty solid. Yeah. The good news is that this is finished. We can have the, uh, the first event of the year in a couple days. Yeah. It'll be nice. Yeah. They probably won't even notice. They won't notice at all. No, they're not going <laughs> to notice. <laughs> well, today feels like first day of spring. I know it's not, but it feels like it. And actually, when I walked out here to the garden, I saw a few ducks just swimming in the moat. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but the reason I'm here today is mostly to enjoy the sun but a little bit because there are these other boundary lines that I never uncovered. And I've noticed that since mowing and driving on the grass, they've started to peek through a little bit more. So I figured today was a good time to clean those up and maybe it'll actually help us figure out where to plant the fruit trees that we're buying because we don't really know where or how those are going to be planted yet. But I'm just happy it's sunny. <laughs> Oh. 
That should help. What do you know? It was springtime like two hours ago. I'm just happy it's sunny. <laughs> well, I found this little tree that can shield some of the rain for the camera, meaning I might as well keep going. So I've made it full circle around the whole garden space and it's raining again, so that's fun. But I was able to uncover a boundary line that kind of squares off the whole garden. And it makes me feel like we could totally have gravel or something on just the walkways. I mean, grass is really pretty, but we did go to a stone store recently, stone store, and they had a lot of colored gravel and we were talking about some fun ideas of trying to make designs with gravel, but we talk about a lot of ideas. We'll see what we go with. I noticed that there are some smaller garden boundaries on both the left and right side of the garden and I didn't get a chance to uncover the right side because the rain just kept coming and I'm kind of cold now, but uh, I do feel like those might be a good space for trees, like fruit trees, if we plant them. So I'm gonna show that to Daphne and see what she thinks. But yeah, it's nice to be outside. So Vess was able to come today and reroute our plumbing because we received our shower and our sink, which I'm also super stoked about because this sink is like a little waterfall. It's really cool. We have to lay the cement down before we do the evacuation pipe here because um, basically you just never know where it's going to be until you actually have the basin for the shower, the shower pan. We've gone back a few times on what to do with this door space. Initially we wanted to put in a sliding door, also known as a pocket door, but then we realized that this there was this plaster wall here and kind of scared us a little bit. So then we went into uh, 
a different design where we were going to create an arch here and round out this corner. But then we checked in with some French friends to see what they thought about having an open toilet into a bathroom and their feedback was negative. So we're going back to the idea of putting in a sliding door. And now I think that we're going to check in with Benoit to see if he has any tips on how to go about putting in a sliding door. So Daphne and I just went and bought way too many testers of different green paints because we're going to replace all of the doors and windows of the Hunter's Lodge. And Benoit is gonna come next week and mm -hmm. help us get started on all of this. And he's gonna help us with uh, putting in a new door in the bathroom because we don't know how. This is why you don't want me to wear my white sweater. <laughs> yeah, I told, here's the thing. Anytime you're gonna paint anything, don't wear clothes you like. That's like the one rule for painting. I have another rule. Anytime you're wearing clothes that you like, be extra careful. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually really like this green. I know you do. I thought it looked a little yellow in the store and now I'm remembering that I thought it looked a little yellow and that's... Still how you feel. Still how I feel. <laughs> well. What's the other one? This is a nice Ooh, green. This one actually <laughs> smells like pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately though, right? Yeah, it that, smells like pistachio. I'm pretty sure that's actually not paint. I think that's just pistachio. It's pistachio paste? I feel like that's just pistachio Did we put paste. it in the wrong cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like birds chirping and it's, it's like kind of calm outside, but seeing you wearing that nice white sweater while painting, I just have like the Jaws theme in my head. <laughs> this is the same color palette as my military uniform was. <laughs> <laughs> we better not lose track of this house. <laughs> I like this one so far. Vergui, vergui. Mm. You know, ironically, I'm actually coming around to the dar Darjeeling. <laughs> We're never gonna We're paint this great. house. <laughs> this is... We're doing great. <laughs> See how easy it is to pick colors? <laughs> so this is the tier which is also the name of a tree that I am highly allergic to. That definitely looks like white. Yeah, this does not look teal colored at all. What I thought we could do is play process of elimination. Okay. And you can pull one off you don't like, and then I'll pull one off I don't like, and then we'll end up with two, and then maybe we would, maybe with those two we can like paint a larger space of each and do a final comparison. Okay, but what if you pull off the one that I want? That's tough luck. Take your next pick. Maybe. You don't like the pistachio green? It smells yummy, but, but we, I it. think that it is essentially the same color as this one. As a matter of fact, it is very hard for me to tell the difference between them. They're very similar, yes. Yeah. Fine, but you can't get rid of the one on the top. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. No. Yes. Not that one. No. Why does it have to be one of those two? No. Because I don't like it as much. No. I feel like this is, it's like a neutral green. Like there's not a lot. When you look at it compared to the peach, it looks more gray. I agree, but I think it contrasts really well with the pink as well. Should we do bigger samples? Yes. Yes, we can do bigger samples. I think that looks very nice. So I can't British. believe how different it is when it's dry versus wet. And when it's shady or sunny or nighttime or morning. Yeah. So. We're gonna go ahead and say we're gonna go with so British, but let us know what you think in the comments below. We're going to wait about five more minutes to see if we can get more sun so that you can see it in bright daylight and in the shadow because apparently it makes a huge difference, a big enough difference for us to completely change our minds. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support us and get exclusive content, join us on Patreon. Yeah. Which he would be helping us. Which he will be helping us Yeah. With. Yes. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over. This is, we messed this up so much. Okay. okay.